the music culture runs deep in Stillwater. On any given night, you can walk down Washington Street and soulful music will fill the air. Stillwater was home to artists that many would consider godfathers of the red dirt music scene. These greats include both the late Bob Childers and Tom Skinner, along with Mike McClure, Cody Canada, Jason Bolin, and several other influential artists that are still performing today. There was a period where music all but died in Stillwater. The familiar sound of music that filled the air could no longer be heard on Washington Street. In recent years, a new generation of Stillwater musicians have begun what some have referred to as the Red Dirt Renaissance. Artists like Ben McKenzie and Jeremy Nipp are making names for themselves amongst the Stillwater music scene. Ben McKenzie's unique voice and style of playing puts him in a league of his own. Discovering all sorts of local artists and really realizing how much depth there is within such a small area is really pretty cool. And those guys kind of paved the way for all us younger dudes that are coming in and trying to play and find our place here. Jeremy Nipp's blues-inspired style of playing personifies his bluesy personality. I wasn't really into the Red Dirt scene until I met these guys and they introduced me to uh, Mike McClure and uh, you know Bob Childers and uh, Tom Skinner and then that's when I started really getting into music and what I wanted to be as a musician. 